Meet Nathan Bender. Back in about 2010, um, we saw an opportunity with smaller potatoes as kind of the future of the potato business. Growing up as a potato grower, you always go to the field and pick the potatoes when the, you know, the small ones and take them home and eat them. Um, they just seem to have a better flavor, they have more nutrients. Makes a great addition to a dinner plate. We've always thought that was kind of what we wanted to do eventually as a company. Now, five years later, growing small potatoes has turned into big business for the family-run operation known as Tasteful Selections. Here in Arvin, we uh, grow about 1,500 acres of potatoes. And uh, overall, our facility runs about uh, 4,500 to 4,000 acres uh, through it uh, in different areas in California. The company grows 25 varieties of baby potatoes in one, two, and three bite sizes. These miniature spuds are not big potatoes harvested early, as one would assume. Instead, it's a process of selective breeding developed by Nathan and his father, Bob Bender, that produces the miniature version. We grow our potatoes small. Based on the nutrients that we give the product or the plants in the field, we have to get them to mature at a small size. If you take a typical potato plant and you kill it when the potatoes are small, typically they will dehydrate and become soft. So we have spent a lot of time in research developing ways to get potatoes to mature at a small size and also varieties that set more tubers. We're constantly looking for the next small thing in potatoes, you know, whether it's a flavor profile or a cooking attribute or a yield factor. We're always constantly exploring other options to bring a new exciting product to our customers. The Benders' partnerships with another grower and an agricultural packing and marketing firm have made them number one in the small potato business. The key to their success, in large part, is due to promoting the versatility in cooking baby potatoes through sharing dozens of recipes. Hey, I'm Chef Joe Alentario, here to make sensational charred potatoes and asparagus. That's really what makes our company work. We have food bloggers and chefs all over the country that spread the word of of different recipes and different things you can do because the actual baby potato and how you can prepare it. Our quartered ruby red potatoes from Tasteful There's not a um, fixed way to prepare it or a right or a wrong answer when it comes to preparing baby potatoes. You can boil them, bake them, roast them, you can cut them in half, you can hole them out and put smoked salmon in them. You can do so many options. You can serve them cold, you can serve them hot. The options are kind of endless. But growing a successful company does not come without challenges. The number one issue on most growers' minds is water. However, being from Nebraska has helped the vendors deal with the dismal situation here in California. We're no strangers to the drought uh, coming from the Midwest where we've had uh, water conservation efforts for the last 20, 25 years. The project that we're undertaking currently is our what we call our agro project where we took over 1,500 acres of land and we are putting linear uh, irrigation systems in. We're able to use a concrete ditch to feed a linear pivot that travels more in a rectangle fashion, so it goes up and down the field and it sucks the water out of the concrete ditch and then applies it onto the ground. And it's got a very even application and there's almost no waste to that. So we're really doing a nice even application on our ground and we're able to water a lot more acres with that system than we would some of the other techniques. Innovation, modern technology, and adaptation to drought and climate change have helped the benders transform the small potato into a versatile gourmet classic. <laughs>